Hi, I'm Kareen Levy. And I'm Eric Franklin. And welcome to Rumor Has It, the show where we round up the week's biggest tech rumors. And vote on what sounds likely and what's probably BS. And remember that you can vote on all of the rumors too, so keep your eye out for the poll in the interactive player if you're watching on CNET. First up, 9to5Mac is reporting that Apple's AirDrop feature is coming to iOS. Currently, AirDrop lets OS X users quickly and efficiently share files between computers. So according to anonymous sources, AirDrop will be embedded in the iOS 7 share menu. It's possible that it could allow for sharing to Macs, though right now it's focused on sharing between iOS devices only. The sources also said that Apple has tried to bring it to iOS in the past, but has backed out at the last moment. Probably because AirDrop is one of the dumbest names anyone's ever heard, and because it reminds me that atrocities like this were ever made. Wait, you have something against Operation Dumbo Drop? That sounds like the cutest movie ever made. Well, have you even seen it? No. Well, you realize it's basically a cash-in on the Dumbo name and oversimplifies the atrocities of the Vietnam War, right? Yeah, but it has, like, elephants in it, or, I don't know, right? <laughs> Next up, according to analyst Michael Pachter, the Xbox One is going to cost $399 and the PS4 will cost $349. Wait, where did he get this information? Pretty much out of nowhere. He based the estimates of the cost of materials needed to build the consoles. He also took into account the prices the current gen models sold for when they were released. The Xbox 360 Premium Edition debuted at $399 in 2005 and the 60 gig PlayStation 3 initially sold for $599. So he basically took R, added Y, divided that by Q, and ended up with F. I guess we'll see if his crazy math works at E3 on Monday. And if that math does work out, then he just justified his employment. Huh. Glad I don't have to do that. What? And lastly, rumors are persisting that Apple is just about to announce its Pandora competitor iRadio at WWDC next week. On Sunday, it was announced that Apple struck a licensing deal with both Warner Music and its publishing arm, Warner Chappelle. Sources say that iRadio would function a lot like Pandora, would integrate with iTunes, and would allow you to purchase songs directly from the app, and also allow you to do crazy things like rewind from the middle of a song. What do you guys think? Will Apple announce iRadio at WWDC? Will you use it? Will it be a Pandora killer? Don't forget to vote and leave a comment We'll check in with the CNET Council. The CNET Council is composed of five editors who cast their votes anonymously. Their opinions are not an endorsement by CNET or CBS Interactive. Obviously, because these are rumors, folks. And the Council's verdict is a unanimous yes. They agree that iRadio will likely be announced next week. That's our show, everybody. Be sure to check out CNET on Monday for all of our WWDC and E3 coverage, where a lot of these rumors will finally be put to rest. And tune in next week when we'll have some fresh new rumors. How was that? <laughs> do it again. <laughs> do we have to do it again? <laughs> oh, God, no. Who produces this show? Did that even work? Should we cut it? <laughs> Stunned silence. Sarah, <laughs> just, like, left the room. She's gone. <laughs> she so quit. <laughs> done. <laughs> she handed in her badge. <laughs> <laughs> she's in there crying. <laughs> she's like, oh God, this is my last. Bonnie, this is my last day. <laughs> <laughs> I get to this point. <laughs>